today's topic will be uh, about street photography. I'm a huge fan of uh, photographing the streets, uh, especially when I started traveling. The more I traveled, the more I went around in different countries and things like that, the more I became fascinated with uh, not only documenting cultures and architecture and things like that, but the different um, styles, the different types, uh, all kinds of different people doing different things. So, uh, but it's it's not an easy type of photography to uh, to get into and, and things like that because you have to go into people's uh, spaces in a sense uh, to photograph what's going on. So, it's candid photography. It's very different than studio stuff where with the studio you have all the control. You set your lights. You take the time you need. You work with the subject. You uh, you know tell people you can do different moves, different tones. With street photography, uh, it's instant. Uh, you, this is not the time to fumble and understand or try to figure out your camera. You have to know your camera. You have to know what's going on. So, and a lot of times you can't even look in the viewfinder to take your shot. Call it shoot it from shooting from the hip. Uh, so understanding your the angle of view of your lens and all that stuff without looking into your camera takes a little bit of practice. But the other side too is being able to inject or put yourself into uh, a situation or with people and things like that. You know, if you're a shy person, uh, it, it's not an easy thing to do. And even if you're not shy sometimes. Uh, so you just have to be careful and follow your gut. Because, uh, and, and understand the rules of wherever country or wherever you're at, understand those rules. But I think respect goes a long way, um, having a nice smile, a friendly disposition, approaching people. Uh, personally, when it comes to uh, street photography, I like to use uh, a short lens, uh, you know, slightly wide angle, normal lens, that type of idea, because uh, it puts me in the action. It puts me right in the middle of what's going on. Uh, so I get the sights, I get the sounds, I get the smells, I get the feelings, I, I get all that stuff. If I was using, for an example, a 300 or 400 millimeter lens uh, and, and hiding somewhere behind a mailbox or something or on a street corner or behind my car, uh, you don't get that feel. So yes, you get the image, but the feeling, the, 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 the mood, the essence uh, of what you're trying to tell as a story uh, doesn't happen. So uh, just take your time, have fun. I think it's something that uh, is becoming very popular, of course, and uh, a lot of people are doing it, but I think number one is uh, the respect, ethics, etc. Things like that. Don't impose yourself just because you have a camera, you know, on, on other people's things. Listen to uh, your gut. If you don't feel right, if you don't feel comfortable, get out of there. Uh, and then you get better at it and, and things like that. Uh, personally, uh, when it comes to street photography, my preference, most of, I'm gonna say 90% of my images are all black and white. I prefer black and white uh, because it seems to tell a story better than color. Not that color is not good. I shoot a lot of color and things like that, but probably 90% of uh, what I do is, is, is in black and white. Um, and the reason for that, we have a saying, portrait photographers, like in the studio and location and things like that, but portrait photographers, there's an actual saying, we say, uh, if you photograph people in color, you photograph their clothing. Uh, if you photograph people in black and white, you expose their soul. I really believe that. And I find that in a sense, that applies to street photography also. Uh, because what happens is if you're in a situation uh, that's full of colors and full of all kinds of different greens, whites, blues, yellows, all kinds of colors. You have to be very careful and precise on your composition because bottom line, you want to bring attention to the story and more importantly, the subject itself. So personally, and a lot of photographers, uh, when it comes to the street, that's what they prefer to do, black and white. Uh, but anyway, so that's my preference. I'm going to share some images with you right now and hopefully you'll enjoy them. See you on the other side. Take care.
I love working with people and I just love their stories. Uh, I connect with that and, and it's a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned, like us, subscribe, send us a message. We'd love to answer your questions. Take care, happy shooting.